Nerd Splash! Nerd Splash! Nerd Splash! What's up everybody? I'm Josh. I'm Kayla. And this is Nerd Splash. So I'm in the process of making a Pokemon purse. What I've done so far is I've gotten all the crochet part down and done. This side's green and eventually it's going to have um, Bulbasaur on it. I ordered some patches, a Bulbasaur patch to go on this side and then I'll decorate this side with that. And this side is blue and I've ordered a Squirtle patch so this side will be decorated. Um, this is going to be the strap that would be the one of the last pieces I hooked together. And then these two are going to actually be inner pockets with zippers on it. And then this right here is going to be the inner liner of the purse. So I'm going to sew the pockets onto that part and then set it aside. And then I'll do all the decorating and sew on the patches first. And sew this inside up here and sew up the sides and then put it in the strap. Over the last few weeks, I've been working on uh, crocheting and sewing my own Pokemon purse. A few years back, I used to crochet regularly and crocheted a lot of different purses. And so this time, I decided it'd be cool to actually um, sew a Pokemon-themed one. So just to go ahead and show you what I've done so far, I haven't finished yet because I had to order something special. But I crocheted uh, the foundation of the purse. So uh, what's going to happen is one side is going to be blue, which will have Squirtle on it. The other side is going to be green, which is going to have Bulbasaur on it. Bulbasaur! And, yeah. and so what's going to go on the inside is I have this cloth here, and these are actually two pockets, one on top, one on the bottom. Um, I crocheted the pockets. I sewed the pockets to the cloth, then I sewed on zippers to uh, each pocket here. And so really what's going to happen, this is going to be the inner liner of the purse, so it's going to go on the inside like and fold it like this. And so, because you know, every girl loves pockets, so <laughs> I had to make a purse with pockets. And the reason why I did it like this, normally I would crochet on the, or sew on, the pockets directly onto the main purse itself. But because I'm uh, going to actually have two big patches, one Bulbasaur and one Squirtle, that I have to sew on to the outside of the purse, it just didn't work because I wouldn't be able to attach the pockets properly while also having the um, Pokemon sewed on the outside. So the easiest thing for me to do is to center the Pokemon, sew them on, and then once I've got those sewed on, put this and sew it on the inside around the outer border so that none of the sewing intertwines. It took a lot of... But you do want it to intertwine. Um, it, you know what I mean. It took a lot of thinking on my part to figure out the logistics on that, how to make everything work. And then the other thing I did is um, I got some felt and I traced out letters for both Bulbasaur and Squirtle and I also cut out some circles. So in addition to on the outside putting the patches on, I'm going to sew on uh, their names too. So it's going to look super cute. And, so, um, and then the last thing I crocheted was this, which is going to be the strap of the purse, which I also have to sew on to. Um, sewing this on and then sewing on the outside, the big zipper will be the, probably the last two things that yeah. I do. And those match the pockets that you've yeah. already sewed on. So. Yep. Very colorful. And it has both. Uh, the reason why I picked the multicolor is because um, the purse is green and blue and there's green and blue in this. So I thought it would tie in nicely. 
people are interested in this and if it's not going to bust the bank, it'd be kind of cool that this is the start of like a Pokemon Arts and Crafts little series within the show. So I've been continuing my work on uh, my Pokemon purse, which has been uh, a labor of love. It's actually taken, I knew it would take a while, but it's actually taken quite a bit longer than I thought. I finally did finish sewing on uh, the Bulbasaur patch, the Bulbasaur letters, and then also the Squirtle patch and the Squirtle letters. So I'll go ahead and show those now. So here is the Bulbasaur side. Yay! I have Squirtle. There's the patch and the letters there. So uh, right now it looks like you know one is upside down, but that's because one is going to be on, on one side of the purse and then uh, the other Pokemon is going to be on the other side. So it's going to be one side of the purse and the second side of the purse. So um, what's going to happen is I'm going to take this. This is the inside of the purse right here. And I'm going to sew this on the inside here. Uh, the third thing I will do is I will sew on the strap that's going to hold up the purse. And then the fourth and last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sew in the big zipper that's going to go on the very top. So, uh, new status on my Pokemon purse. Uh, last night I actually finished sewing in the inner liner, which um, if you remember from before, I sewed pockets with zippers onto those. So, again, here's the outside of the purse. One side is going to be Squirtle and one side is Bulbasaur. And on the inside of the purse, Ta-da! I now have my um, inner lining sewn in, which already I had already sewed on the pockets too. And again, each pocket has a zipper. So again, the purse is going to be like this. So now all I have left to do is I need to sew up the sides here, each side. I also need to sew on the strap. That'll be second. And then the third and last piece is I'll sew on the zipper to the top. Ba 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Yay! My purse is finished! So on this side is the Bulbasaur, and on this side is a Squirtle. And if you remember last time, um, I still hadn't sewn up the sides, or put in the strap, or put in the zipper. But now all that's finished, here's the zipper. And if I open it up, you'll see the liner I put in there, and the pockets, which also have zippers as well. And it's super awesome. And what's been really nice is over the past few days, I've actually had a few different people say, oh, I love your purse. Yeah, you did a good job with it. But yeah, I'm super proud of it. It took a total of like 36 hours worth of work. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with the way it came out. And that's the final product, everyone. Yep, and I, I guess if anyone's interested in seeing more like, you know, craft related things, let us know in the comments and maybe like once a month or something like that, we can have a whole little- Kayla's Craft Corner. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Alright, I'm Josh. I'm Kayla and this is Squirtle and Baldi. See ya. Nerd Splash, Nerd Splash, Nerd Splash. <laughs>